Um, I never even thought about getting one of these. This is a terry saw. It's a red, white, and green terry saw. Now, this one was made around 68. And you don't see these very often at all because I don't think, I didn't think they built these consistently until after, I want to say, I don't know, 74, 75 in this color, but this is a Super XL AM automatic oiler manual override. And you just don't see the AM, the, this color on these, out of on a Terry saw until later on, until the, gosh, I'm going to say, I thought it was in 74, 75 when they came, came out with this color, but they did build the AM in this color, but they just don't see many of them. This one needs a good amount of work, but it has the original home light bar on it. And it's one of the older bars that are serial numbered. I don't know if many people see, notice that, but some of these old bars are serial numbered on home lights. Uh, looks like I need a replacement on the um, clutch cover. Got one of those, but pretty pretty stoked to get this. Um, like I said, you just don't see the the AMs, the Home Light Super XL AMs, hardly at all. So. This will be another one for the collection. Of course, there'll be no way to get decals unless I can find another decal maker. Because our decal supplier, Joe, he, he doesn't have any of the decals. I don't know that anybody did have them after they quit making them. It's on the Terry saws, you can't even really find. Leon's got about the only parts manuals for Terry saws. And, and the, if you look up the part numbers on Terry saws, you're not going to find anything. Uh, no one, no one lists those Terry saws part numbers. You have to cross reference them to U.S. saws, I guess. Unless somebody else has a better idea. But yeah, the part numbers on a lot of the Terry saws, they don't do you much good. Um, but anyway, yeah, this will join my latest acquisitions, my 901 and my 904. And I got a 924 case coming. Oh, yeah. So... I'm thinking about this. I've got an XL924, and I'm thinking that I might paint it blue and put it together as a Super XL901, and then it'd be in an auto oiler, making a Frankensaw. And uh, it, it, making it, into, I don't know whether I'll be 77cc or 82cc, probably 77, but. But instead of being a manual oiler, it'll be an auto oiler XL901. And an XL901 AM, so to speak. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. Because, I mean, you know, why not? 